I picked up this small press at a tag sale. It was totally frozen with rust. I had to apply some liquid wrench and finally got some of the parts moving. After that, I spent considerable time cleaning it with a wire brush and solvents and so forth. Uh, it was missing the uh, platen, the uh, the roller activating arm and the roller and roller bearings, uh, all of which I supplied by using pretty much simple materials from the hardware store, except for the uh, platen, which I ordered uh, from eBay uh, online. It's a three inch disc, quarter inch thick, and uh, since I don't have access to a welding uh, facility or, or a metal lathe, I had to. Uh, attach it to the uh, shaft by drilling a hole and threading it, putting in a flat-headed screw. And once I did that, I clamped it to, I screwed it to a um, piece of three-quarter inch pine and clamped that to my drill press so that I could turn it and always have the holes drilled in a uh, uniform manner. Uh, they represent the teeth, which would normally have been cast on the back of the platen to uh, activate it, to cause it to turn every time the, uh, the print lever were, was depressed. That way the roller goes over, picks up the ink, comes down, goes over the type, and, and re repeats itself that way. So it, uh, it turned out to be a pretty kind of satisfying project. Uh, spent more money on it than I should have because I cast the, the roller from uh, silicone rubber and that was cost something to buy a small, even just a small amount of that stuff. Uh, probably spent 50 or 60 dollars altogether, but I only paid 9 dollars for the press at a tag sale, as I said, so kind of a fun project.